happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, in out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Horologe, model number HXT201. This is an AM FM portable radio at a low cost. Yeah. I got this off Amazon for a total of $9.99. And it's a pretty cool design. It's this really clear and easy to read dial. I had to get it. So let's check it out. AM FM portable radio, simple box. Got a picture of the radio. On the bottom there, we have AM FM two bands, loud Spocker. <laughs> it does say Spocker, I'm not kidding. Uh, build in. <laughs> uh, two AA battery operated. Okay. Classic, easy to use. All right. So what the back says, enjoy music and news everywhere. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, AM, FM, okay, it says uh, AM is 520-1710, which is wrong. I'm only able to get up to 1590 during the day, and tonight we'll see how high I go. I'm thinking 1610 or 1620 at the most. Um, I don't know, there must be a misprint on the box. Uh, there we go, more little bullet points, easy to tune, excellent reception, ultra portable. Having any trouble? Please contact us. All right. And you got your little label there. All right, let's get into it. So, yeah, I like the looks of this radio. And the price was right, too, at $9.99. Can't beat that. Um, I love radios that are 10 bucks or less and that perform, and this one does. So let's see what we had here. We got instruction. <laughs> These are always fun. Uh, let's see, it's got a little diagram there showing you what does what. Uh, we have instructions how to use your radio. There you go. Pretty simple setup on the back. Simple design for simple use. I'm into that. <laughs> Again, they misprinted the band information. Um, the dial on the radio is accurate, though, as far as what is available. A high quality loudspeaker. Nice. And what's in the packing? All right. Cool. There it is. All right. So let's get to the radio. Uh, comes in a little foam sleeve. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. Right away, you can tell. It's a really cool looking radio. Uh, the silver, uh, high visibility dial, just really nice. So let's go over dimensions. Uh, we're two and five eighths of an inch across. We're about four and five eighths of an inch tall. And we have a depth of one inch. Let's bring in some radios for size comparison. I like to do that. Here we have CC Pocket. It's a little digital AM FM portable radio with weather alert. Pretty awesome setup. It'll run you about 65 bucks versus 10. <laughs> so it's always good to have a backup radio. Something like this is perfect. Uh, here we go. We got a CC Skywave. Ups the ante. This one's about 90 bucks. But you get shortwave and you get airband. And you get the weather alert and AM FM also. It's pretty nice. Loving that. Okay, so there's that. And then last but not least, I like to use a deck of cards for size comparison. There you go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Horloge from China land with misspelled instructions, man. <laughs> there you go. Deck of cards. Yeah, I got a new one there. Yeah, Iron Man. Sweet. Okay, so let's go over features of this HXT201. It's kind of hard to remember that. Uh, or Horloge. Everybody makes fun of that name, but that's what it is. I looked at the pronunciation of that. So left-hand side, got our carry strap. We got the headphone jack. Looks like a metal sleeve. That's a nice sign of quality right there. And talking about the headphone jack experience, this headphone jack sounds really good. I'm really impressed with it. Um, overall, amazing. Let's talk about it. Uh, no low-level hiss. Got to like that. Uh, strong lows, strong mids, decent highs on FM radio. So you're going to like your music on this. And overall, great sound on FM. And then, but it is FM mono, both ears. Don't expect FM stereo. You know, it's a $10 radio. You got to expect that. And on AM, uh, it's good for sports and talk. So it has a more neutral tone. Loving that. Uh, we have a recessed antenna here. I like this too. Uh, it's really a sign of quality. It's not sticking out. Uh, that's pocket friendly. I'm loving that. And this extends out to 13 and a half inches. And I believe it swivels too. Yeah, it's got a built-in swivel there. Nice. Again, 
little extras that add up. We got our volume on off wheel there. On the front of the radio, we'll bring it up close. We got the dial, you know, it's FM. Nice big black lettering. I like this 88 to 108. Got a little log scale underneath there. Nice bright orange indicator. If I remember right, it was fairly accurate. We'll see that tonight. I like the AM band. Okay, this is the one under consideration. This is 530 and it shows it to 1600. Like I said, during the day, I was only able to get 1590. I was not able to tune in 1620, but we'll see if we can tonight. Looking here, you can see it says tuning. A little bright red LED turns on when you're in tune. I like I like tuning indicators. It's nice. Two band receiver. Our speaker has decent sound to it. Uh, we'll do a little audio check in a moment. The speaker is about one and three quarter inches, just shy of two inches. Right hand side, we have, it brings back up, a band select switch, AM, FM. Right now I'm on FM. Uh, we have a tuning wheel that's real easy to use. Uh, actually, this one here is uh, it, it's kind of a, I wouldn't say stiff, but it's firm. So wherever you put it, it stays. You can't bump this by mistake in your pocket, which is great. Notice the two tone color. You got the silver metallic front and it's gray back. It's pretty cool to see. And we got the label back there, two AA batteries. Again, a misprint on the AM uh, product size, millimeters, a vented cabinet there, uh, nicely done. And then we got our two AA battery compartment, which we'll open this up and show you. I'm running uh, two AA batteries, not a captured door. I wish it was, but for 10 bucks, not gonna complain. But these rechargeables fit in there pretty good. I'm using the EBL high capacity 2800s. They run forever, uh, just a great investment inexpensive sells from china but they work really well i'm pretty impressed i mean i have Eneloops and Eneloop pros all those fancy batteries and these work i'm very impressed so there we are and then caution replace with fresh batteries i didn't space that <laughs> of the same kind observing polarity that's a good thing insert batteries in numbered order <laughs> there's only two that's pretty funny okay so let's talk about FM reception. Then we'll turn it on. We'll do an audio test with the speaker. Of course, that's pretty interesting. You get to hear it and then compare it to my other videos. But FM reception is important because typically uh, FM radios, like the older ones that are analog, this is a DSP with an analog scale. DSP means digital signal processor, if you didn't know. It's a new technology. Uh, it's a little different than the older analog tech. Here's an old analog radio. This one here. Gets an okay to good rating, finding 48 stations during the day in the same testing location. And that's fairly average for an analog radio of this era. This is from the 80s, I believe. Uh, big, bulky thing running on a 9-volt battery. Um, I'm sure this will outrun it, believe it or not. And uh, so let's see. This one here rated a good 3-star rating. So it's fair, okay, good, ex uh, very good, excellent. So 5 stars. Okay, good is the average. So this is above average at uh, 63 stations found. So it found quite a few stations more than the average 48 in my area. So that's amazing. Selectivity, on the other hand, was okay to good, meaning this DSP likes to latch on strong stations, and sometimes you aren't able to get those faint stations on the FM band. But it's still, it's a nice experience with tuning. Uh, so when you're tuning the, the daytime band, uh, you probably will have that issue. It's only a 13 and a half inch antenna that might be hindering it a little bit but it's also the DSP chip. So uh, it's still impressive to find 63 stations um, with that selectivity rating. So on average, probably about th two and three quarter star, almost a three star overall rating on FM. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll do an audio check. So I have it hooked up to, uh, not only have it hooked up to anything, excuse me, I have it receiving a 92.9 megahertz. I have a transmitter, FM transmitter two by C-Crane. It's set at 92.9 megahertz here with a MP3 player attached. And uh, it's broadcasting, so I can give you a demo of the speaker. And of course, it's using royalty-free music, so I don't have to worry about copyrights. Let's turn this up and jam out for a couple minutes. Then we'll talk about the AM band, maybe do a little band scan, new final thoughts.
really quiet with that. Listen to that. Nice. I like that. Okay, so there's the audio test. I like to do that. Uh, so in person, uh, it has a very uh, mid quality to it, not a lot of low to it, uh, some nice highs to it, as you heard on the classical music. But the low end, not so much on the speaker, but definitely on the headphones there. <laughs> uh, headphones are great with this radio. Um, definitely the way to go. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the AM band. So now that we're at the FM, well, actually the dial, let's show you the dial. So 92.9, that's about right. It looks so pretty accurate. Uh, so yeah, the uh, AM band during the daytime, I like to do that at the same time I'm doing the FM band now. It's always 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I sit down with the radio. I do an AM band scan. And typically I find uh, what's good, uh, strong, semi-locals, and distance. I do it with three categories. Uh, this is great. I'm... Um, strong uh, locals of course most radios are uh, this is excellent on uh, semi-locals and i was even finding distant stations with this during the day so the dsp on the am band is fantastic during the day you will like this again for 9.99 right now without even going any further uh, i'd recommend it as a buy there's links below go ahead and get it and be happy if you can get it for 9.99 oh, rock all the way but that's my little bit of final thoughts but uh, let's go ahead and do an AM band scan this evening. I'm going to go ahead and go to the bottom of the band. And we're going to go change the band. I have been known to forget to do that. <laughs> AM band. And uh, we'll tune it and see if we can pick up any long distance stations, which I'm guessing we should be able to. Now it's cloudy and there, I think it's winter time here. We've got some flurries going on outside. And uh, yeah, so let's give you some idea of time. It is 10.29 p.m. This is Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. I'll be using the CC Skywave here. As a frequency checker, if we run into stations that I can't figure out, we'll see if we can tune them in with this and match it up so we know where, where we're at on the dial. So like I said, we're pretty accurate uh, dial here. We'll just make sure with the sky wave. So yeah, we went over to headphones, went over to AM. Yeah, the AM sounds really good on headphones, liking that. Uh, but yeah, the AM band on, during the day, it stopped at 1590. I was kind of like bummed by that because the box said 1710. Then when I got the radio out, I didn't notice it said 16 on the dial. But, uh, you know, if you don't need that expanded band or past 1600, this radio is for you. For me, it's perfect because I don't usually listen to much past 1600. I'm definitely a guy who listens to the middle or towards the bottom of the band. So let's go ahead and turn it on, and we'll see what we can pick up on the AM band tonight. Now, if you're not familiar with portable radio, this is your first time, and you really want to just pick up a cheap radio, and you saw this, and you're like, hey, I'm going to watch this video. For $9.99, it's cool, like I mentioned, but look at this here. This is your FM antenna. This is not your AM antenna. People ask me all the time, how come I don't raise this antenna? Remember, it's only for the FM band. The AM band has its own ant antenna, and it's internal, and it's uh, horizontal here, right here, or here. Typically, it's towards the top, and what it is, it's a ferrite bar, and it's wrapped with copper wire, making a coil. And what that does is it receives the longer wavelengths of the AM band. FM band has shorter wavelengths that requires an antenna like this. So yeah, it has an internal antenna. And when you see me turning the radio, I'm aiming this edge of the radio towards where the station would be. That's how you tune an AM radio. Some people did not know that, and I like to give that primer every time I do a review now and a band scan. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Loving that dial, clear as day. <laughs> Okay, so I got some static going. I did not turn off my transmitter. I don't think that affected too much. Let's make sure everything's off. Okay, we will start tuning here. Okay, I can't hover on the music, but that's a CHLO 530 Brampton, Ontario. That's 441 miles away, 250 watts, and I could probably show you with the Skywave the exact same music. So let's see. So that's the Skywave, and here is the Horologe. We'll probably have to retune it. It's there. A little tricky getting it in. Okay, let's keep going. Two to one. But we also kind of knew, or at least we thought at some point this season this could happen. So the reality of the situation was, if you were going to play this, you should have bet it prior to the move happening. This is 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts. There's not really any value, right? It's like buying a Ferrari. Well, if I'm 
I'm gonna get the Ferrari. I want all the good stuff. You know, the solutions that come with threats. And if there's a problem, U.S.-based specialists will help fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all business. So in person, this sounds really good on the AM band. I'm loving it. Uh, 560 uh, WIND, Chicago, Illinois. Local. Smart at lifelock.com. One to win the Eastern Conference is worthy of the price of admission as well. So, so most people will focus on the big ticket move. Harden to the Nets, and now they're the favorite to win the East. I'd be looking elsewhere because those odds changed as well, and now you've got more bang for your buck. All right, I'm on my site right now. Give me your number one. Here's 590. This is KXSP, Omaha, Nebraska. 405 miles away, 5,000 watts. So this little $10 gem here is rocking. Um, love it. Again, the dials is the winner right there. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. When we get to 780, we'll see how accurate it is. Okay, skipping some stations. Should be 620. You cannot invest. You absolutely need someone in your life who knows them. That signal's fading also, which is surprising uh, for 620. That's kind of a semi local WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles away from me, 10,000 watts. But at night, I think it's aimed at a different location. Okay, this country music here, I think it's 6.30, CFCO. Let's check it. There we go. So, yeah, 6.30, CFCO, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Nice. Loving it. All right. Loving it. That might be trademarked. i got to be careful. <laughs> Okay, so that music there is, uh, I'm trying to figure that out. That was WSM 650, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. A little tricky to tune uh, because it's close to a 670, uh, the score, which is a big booming station here in Chicago. So that'll be next. Not steamers, just average in between. We've always got your six. That's why members earn and save $361 more per year by banking with us. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the... So there you go. 670 to score. Chicago, WSCR. Home of the Cubs. Here's a message just for the attorneys out there. So you passed the bar, joined a firm, or even built your own... Gary, Jeff, I am so much better now that I can talk to you. It's, it's wonderful to hear your voice during these troubling times. They are troubling times. reason, Gary, Jeff. I am the one... Okay, that's 700, WLW. I think bringing the radio in throws it out of tune to retune it. WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. Everything I've done, but of course it's probably because of everything I've done. I admit it, I eat like a nine-year-old who's... Here's 720 WGN Chicago, local strongest station near me. Probably uh, for those of you who live in the Midwest, uh, East Coast, uh, Southeast, uh, South, you probably pick up this station pretty well. And yeah, probably Southwest. From the ER for ridiculously high blood pressure, and that all this nonsense might have gotten to me. And uh, I, I know just how he feels. I don't think he and I. And in mind, they finished top of their class. Dave and Alan in Dave's Corner Garage, Saturday morning at 10 on Zoomer Radio and online at davescornergarage.com. This is Zoomer Radio Toronto, CFZM FM and CFZM AM, owned and operated by NZ Media Incorporated. So there you go. I like the station here, CFZM, on Toronto, Radio, Ontario. 
96.7 FM. It's 460 miles away from me. Reading the, the musings of Eric Weinstein, who's been a guest on. Burn, our businesses were shattered, and they said nothing, or they're cheerled for it. So I was able to get this. This is nice. This is WSB 750 Atlanta, Georgia. This is 630 miles away. Okay. Some semblance of normalcy. Benjamin says, hey Ben, in an interview... About- and right next to it was a little WJR, which is usually a booming station for me. This is uh, 760 Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles away. Predicted this argument by stating the founding fathers did not envision or support a supermajority, but rather wanted a bare majority. Well, I think the difference here is that uh, the richest person in the world, maybe, and in China, certainly, um, stood up and was critical. This is nice. This is 770 uh, WABC, New York, New York, 750 miles away. Let's tune it in. So investors, I know, and myself included, like to put money outside. That's excellent because 760 and 780 are two strong stations nearby me, and we're able to pass right past them. Uh, to get it, oh, just bumped to 780. So here's 780 WBBM Chicago. Let's look at that dial. Boy, that looks really dead accurate, doesn't it? Right on the money. Cool. More reporters and the most local news coverage. We take you now live to Chicago. Available anytime on the radio.com app. Investigation. Uh, Arlington Assistant Police Chief Kevin Colbick, Colby, I don't know how to pronounce that, says we're excited because this year there's new technology when it comes to DNA and we're excited about this year being able to submit that and hope that we could get a better DNA profile of the killer. Good. Good. Please, God, nail him. Anyways, um... I just want to say that this should be WBAP 820 Fort Worth, Texas, 810 miles. Yeah, I'm impressed. This is a very impressive radio. I can honestly and proudly say that because of my former boss, your business is getting back to business, but things are a little different than six months ago. What does that mean for your customers? And when things are constantly changing, how do you know you're making the right decisions? What you need is Research Raccoon. Research Research Raccoon, I love it. Uh, WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, They got, uh, it's 300 miles away. At uh, Ground Zero and uh, Coast to Coast in the evenings. I do listen to it at night. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's fading. and Sometimes it's clear all, all night, so it's nice. Results, just data to make smarter decisions. Think of it like a gut check for your plan to re enter the move is your best move. So before you reopen, I don't want to get too sentimental here, but I've obviously been in the business for quite a long time. And, you know, I think that I. That could be KOA Denver. I'm going to check. Yes, it's KOA Denver. A little bit of. Finessing the dial. Uh, POA, Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Nice. We got some French music. I hope it's not copy protected. <laughs> Copyrighted. CJBC, 860, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles again. Website development to third-party integration, Miracle.com delivers innovative web design, development, and digital solutions, driving business growth for their clients. AmericanEagle.com's work for Dairy Queen, one of the world's most iconic brands, consisted of building a website. This is 880 WCBS, New York, New York. 750 miles. It booms in all the way from uh, the East Coast to the Midwest here. Now I'm going to go towards the top of the dial. 
instrumental in streamlining Dairy Queen's global operations with a platform enhancing their speed. <laughs> You could spend a lot of time across this band. I'm just going to slowly creep up to the top there and then we'll do final thoughts. I bet the over there on the side, I don't really have a position. Keep making a Mrs. Happy joke. Great stuff, my friend. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Great music. On Friday, mostly cloudy, but showers are expected at 8 p.m. with a high of 50 degrees. Saturday, things cool down, and we also start the day with rain. Where the crafts on the outside and the inside, you know, maybe they have different physics or something, but there's, you know, dramatically different. But this, this place was absolutely immense. And we're in the cycle. And, um... Okay, I'm going pretty quick to the top now. So we can pick up this top of the dial. Yeah, it's picking up, I think, like 1590. Um, for, I can just enter it in. Skywave. Yeah, so it stops at 1600. Okay, well, there it is. Go ahead and turn this off. So there is the Horloge. Um, HXT201 uh, is it worth 9.99? Yeah, you guys can hear, you can see, you can tell. This thing's just absolutely amazing for the money. Um, two AA batteries, gonna run forever. Nice carry strap, nice heavy duty one by the way. I like that. At the top too, recessed antenna, um, easy to use controls, uh, dead accurate dial. Um, top of the band, eh, you know, if you need it, you need it. Uh, you get a different radio, but this one, this is just amazing. Uh, decent audio quality, a tuning indicator. Um, yeah, clear as day. Can't go wrong with it. $9.99, go grab it. If it's $12.99, go grab it. It's worth $12.99. If it's $15, bucks, well, then you can start looking at other options uh, that are priced around that range or a little higher. So, But yeah, at $10, it is a winner all day long. Definitely. If you like this video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Uh, two, if you like inexpensive portable AM FM radios, you like having one as a backup, you're just getting started into radio and you want something cheap, this is worth it. Definitely fun to have. Uh, fun to put in your pocket and go. This does trump a cell phone or a tablet because two batteries will last you probably 60 hours. Yeah, two batteries, 60 hours. Gotta love it. And you can recharge those EBLs. Um, that's pretty nice. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the HXT201 by Horloge. Um, is it $9.99 well spent? Would you go out and get one as a backup or a primary radio? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you in my next video.